So, do you want to know how to export your Power Query data, your Power BI data, into Azure SQL? I'll show you that, just in a second. So hello and welcome back. In previous videos, I have shown you how to export or download data from Power Query into Excel, CSV, text. I have shown you also how to do it in SQL on-prem, you know, when you have your SQL in your computer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Azure. It is actually very similar how you would do it in um, SQL uh, on-prem, but uh, I'll, I'll just guide you step by step. I'm going to show you from the beginning. So how you create a server in Azure, how do you create a database in Azure? And then I'll show you how to import or export the data from Power BI to SQL. So it's going to be a complete video. Now, if you know how to do this stuff in Azure, you just want to know how to export, go to the comments below, you know, to the description box of the video and there will be a link that would say okay here's how you go to the script or a script that will allow you to export data so you skip all the other stuff but uh, how about we begin okay so here we are in power bi this is a completely empty file there's absolutely nothing in here and what we want to do is import a excel model uh, into Power BI, right? That's what, that's the question. So this is the uh, Excel file that we're going to try to import. Uh, this is uh, Google Analytics data. This is a very old report I made a hundred years ago. You see, <laughs> the old name is company name is in there. Um, and uh, what do we have here? Is a few pages uh, with some information. We have a Power Pivot model. Let me show you. And we have no power view in here, okay? This is just data in a model. I don't even think there's um, any power query. I think when I did this, there was no power query. So this is just getting everything directly into Power Pivot. Let me check. No. So you can see uh, connections and queries, there's nothing in there. So this is a Power Pivot model. And uh, just some report made in directly in Excel sheets. Uh, there is a diagram view. You will see the thousand tables with all the connections. I made this hundred thousand years ago. I don't even want to know what on earth did I do here. Anyhow, beyond the point. What we're going to do is we have this beautiful report. We want to put it into Power BI. Can we do that? Do we need to recreate everything from scratch? Well, let's go back to Power BI. If you go to File, Import, you have here Import Excel Workbook Contents. So we're going to do just that. We find that this is a monthly report. We click Open, and then this will show up. It says uh, we don't work directly with Excel Workbooks, but we will extract the content and put it into Power BI. A new Power BI file will be made for you, which will contain as much as possible. Awesome. And then the first thing you will say, it failed. <laughs> what? It's just because you have it open. You have to close it. Okay. Don't save. And then we do it again. And then you will start importing whatever it can import. And I'll show you in a second what it can import. So it's doing everything. Da -da 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 -da. So, okay. This is a summary of what it did. It imported 15 queries. It imported uh, 15 data model tables, KPIs, which is the measures and all that stuff, I'm guessing. And it imported zero Power View sheets because I didn't have any. So here are the measures, you see, KPIs. You know that you can import KPIs, you cannot create KPIs directly you can, but you, not like you would do in Excel, but you can import them from Excel and they will be visible, which is quite cool. And here we have the model. As we had it on the other place, and if we go to edit queries, we will have all the tables in Power Query as useful. Okay, 
this is reading for an Excel file, so that's why it's giving me an error, but all the data is in there. It's just this, I move this, so it's in another place, basically. So, very good, right? So let's look at what they say here. This is the instruction of how and what it does. And it says, what workbooks elements are imported? And it says, Power Query, Power Query Queries, which we've seen. Power Pivot External Connections, we've seen that too. Link Tables, Data Model, we've seen that. Uh, columns, Measures, we've seen it. Cate categories, Relationships, and Power View Worksheets. We didn't have any Power View Worksheets. Here it talks about the limitations. I will put a link to this so you can uh, read everything. Uh, but I, I want to show you something, and this might be just me, but it doesn't always work. I have here a file, user engagement. This is again Power BI Analytics, and if I go here, I have a Power View sheet. So I thought, oh, it would be cool to show how Power View gets imported into Power BI. Well, I have a small problem that I can haven't managed to fix, and this Power View does not work. And whenever I fix an error, another one shows up. So this is just on my machine. I don't know if it's on yours, but I try to import this file. So we say, okay, let's close it. Don't save. And I go here, file, import, Excel content. Uh, don't save. And we try to import the file that we just looked at. Uh, it says exactly the same thing. It's start. And uh, goes through the thing and then I get an error. And it says mm -mm, input string was not in correct format. I have no clue what that is. You can actually click on report issue and check uh, or uncheck this stuff. Um, you can say, it says here that you can report in uh, issues, powerbi.com, or you can just send the Microsoft an email. And I guess I, they do that so they want to troubleshoot it as much as they can. Um, I, I, I haven't sent it. What I think is that it's not important it because PowerView is not working for me. So it's not evil if Silverlight, which is the engine used to generate visuals, is not working, then I guess it's not working either for importing. I have no idea. But until I fix that, I won't be able to show you how to import a Power View. So can it import it? Yes, I can't. But you will be able to if your Power View is working in Excel. Okay? So I really hope this was useful. It will sell, send save you tons and tons of time. If you don't have Power View like I, had, I didn't have in this model, you will have to create the visualizations from scratch. But my Lord is so much better than you know having to create this from the beginning, okay? So it goes much, much faster. So how wonderful is that? You can export your data everywhere now, right? So it's super cool. Um, yeah, as I mentioned in the video, if you know how to modify the R script, so when you are appending, you will not append rows that are already exist, you know, like duplicate. Just let me know in the comment box and I will do a video about it. I, I don't know how to do it. I don't have time to research. I don't know if it's possible. So if you are like a, an R expert, just help us out and let us know how it is done, okay? So it is all for today. Next video, it will be a DAX video, DAX Fridays, on Friday. And I'll see you then. Bye.